Hello everyone, I'm Tim from Tim's PC and I build custom PCs to suit anyone's needs or budget. Also live stream my builds and repairs for transparency and educational purposes. So if you'd like to get an awesome new PC and you'd like to see it get put together live, send me a message today. Alrighty, well, I have a fluffy Mao sitting on me with his cone of shame. I think he's trying to say sorry, he's trying to suck up so I don't dock his pay. Because if you've seen what's been happening here at Tim's PC today, um, well, it's actually over the last sort of 48 hours because this live stream that we're doing tonight was meant to be done last night. But Fluffy Mao destroyed the micro HDMI cable from the camera to the capture card, so I couldn't do the live stream last night. But for some reason, he has decided to come on over here and sit in my lap because it's obviously cold and my lap is obviously warm. So, yeah, here he is, sort of kind of in the way. But anyway, we're here tonight and we've got a good one on tonight. We're going to be building Russell's PC, which is a, a pretty much an all be quiet case and fan setup. So obviously we can't get, we can't get like, um, we can't get be quiet motherboards. There was no point getting a be quiet cooler. This cooler here with the be quiet fans is, is going to be quite, you know, a pretty good option and it's got a longer warranty than the Be Quiet all-in-one liquid coolers. But we'll go through the components here and we'll get stuck right into it. So we've got the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D 8-core 16-thread CPU. We've got an Asus uh, X670-P Wi-Fi, which is the Asus Prime CSM motherboard. We've got a 32 gigabyte kit of, I think it's 6400 megahertz CL32 DDR5 RAM and a Samsung 980 NVMe SSD. We've got a four terabyte hard drive up here as well. We've got a gigabyte Eagle RTX 4080 there. We've got an 850 watt in-wind power supply. A couple of three packs of um, Be Cool Light Wings, I think be they're called. Quiet. Be Quiet. Sorry, Be Quiet. <laughs> be Cool. <laughs> Look at the Deep Cool. I'm calling it Be Cool. Yeah, that'd be right. So yeah, um, Be Quiet Silent Wings. Sorry, not Silent Wings. Um, light Wings. Ah. <laughs> uh, You're having a good one. I, I love it. Don't you love it? It can be all edited out anyway. At a later date <laughs> and then the case um, so the case here is the be cool pure base 500 DX um, so it comes with RGB strips on the front it does come with some pre-installed be quiet silent wings fans but like I said we're gonna be using the light wings fans which have the RGB ring around the edges there, so they look pretty, pretty bloody fancy, don't they? <laughs> All right, let's get started. If I think I think this cat is gonna have to um, go somewhere else, like, like maybe, dude, maybe maybe you can go up here for a while. So let's have a look at this motherboard. Alrighty, so what do we get on this particular board? So this is the ASUS Prime X670 motherboard here and starting up the top here we have 12 pins of CPU power 
nice direct touch heat sinks here in our MOSFET VRM co-processors. Obviously we've got our AM5 socket there. We have a total of one, two, three, four, and five. Five fan headers on this motherboard. One, two, three, and four RGB headers. Um, obviously dual channel memory here, so four slots, two channels. We've got our USB-C, USB-3, got a couple of SATA ports here. Down the bottom we've got, we've got a 12 volt RGB header there, another sneaky 12 volt header. Um, we've got our front panel connectors down here, four SATA ports there. We've got a secondary USB 3 header there, so that, that comes in handy sometimes. Um, we've got a couple of USB 2 headers, the aforementioned RGB headers and fan header. We've got a COM port header down the bottom there, and our front panel audio here. So this header here, plus these little gold capacitors here, our audio capacitors. And then in the middle here, we've got our PCIe bus. So we've got the X16 slot here. We've got a single PCIe Gen 5 NVMe slot. And we've got one, two, three additional NVMe slots. So we've got a total of four on this motherboard, it looks like. And then we've got a single X1 slot here. And then, then these two here are actually X4 slots. So you can see, you can see along the bottom, you can see the pins are connected, you know, that far along than the rest of the slot. There's nothing there, it's just a bit of plastic there sitting on top of the board. So you've got an X1 slot, as I, as I said, two, and then two X4s down here. So that comes in handy. If you wanted to have a 4K capture card or something like that, they run on an X4 interface. So you've got some options there. And then around the back here, just quickly, we'll have a look at our rear IO. So we've got built-in Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. We've got our LAN port. We've got eight USB 3s, including one type C, and then two USB 2s. Got a um, PS2 port there, and we've got a display port and HDMI port if we were, if we were using them. Alrighty. And that is the ASUS Prime X670 motherboard. All right, fluffy mail. He's very fluffy. Got a couple of people there saying hello. Christine stepped away. We've got George. Hey, George. How you going? Good to have you with us, as always. And we've got Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Good to have you here. Hope your morning's treating you well. Okay, so let's get our 7800X 3D in place. And so yes, now AMD use a LGA style socket for all their CPUs. Now people used to sort of say, oh, the LGA socket, that's the Intel style socket. And that's not really true because um, Threadripper, AMD's um, HD, HD, um, HEDP product is actually um, LGA and has been LGA since the start. They've never had they never had pins on the bottom. They've always used LAN grid array. So, yeah. Russell's hey Russell, how you going? So yeah, this is Russell's PC that we're building here tonight. What's that? Oh, I heard a sound and I was like, oh, it's just the cat crashing into stuff. <laughs> it 
it's just the cat crashing into stuff. He can't see properly because of his cone. So he just walks into things. I thought this had three additional slots, but it looks like there's only it looks like there's only two. Take the thing off and then we'll find out. This doesn't come off. Oh. I thought this came off. Yeah, I know. But we've never featured this motherboard here, so uh -huh. what do I what do I do? I don't know what I don't know. I just I'll, I'll show you I, I'll show you what I was thinking. And I think you'll agree that this this might bit. this might sort of make a bit of sense to you. When I saw this. I was like, oh yeah, that will come off and there'll be another M2 slot under there. I don't know what the, the arrows are pointing at if... Yeah. It's art. I don't know. I get that it's that's... I get, I get that, 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 that this here is the, um, is the chipset heat sink. But it's just elongated. So yeah, even though it might look like another M2 slot there, that's not actually an M2 slot. So we've got one, two, three M2 slots on this motherboard. Okay. So. so all of these slots here, they're all PCIe 4 and above. And this one at the top here is PCIe 5. So I generally try and keep that top slot open just for when PCIe 5 drives get released then people can easily sort of put one in there as an upgrade. Because people love fast SSDs. I tell people that there's, you know, after a certain speed there's sort of diminishing returns on having the SSD faster and faster and faster, but you know, people don't want to hear it, man. They want that raw speed. Fuck whether they can whether they can actually notice it. They just want it. We're also traumatized from running Windows off a hard drive. Oh. It's, eight. So. it's eight at Gosford. Yeah. Oh bloody hell. Gosford. Gosford's bloody near the coast. Glen Ennis is minus one. It's already minus one at Glen Ennis. It's only eight fifteen. Zero at Armadale Airport. Oh. But I mean, they don't call it they don't call it the New England Tablelands for for nothing. And if you're watching, you don't know where we're referring to. We're referring to the highlands of northern New South Wales. So it gets gets pretty cold up there. It's um it's quite high, as as the name might suggest. As far as Australia goes, we don't have. We don't have super, super high mountains in Australia. Um, they're sort of up to up to about 2.2 kilometers high. That's about as high as the, the mountain range gets in Australia. And if you're, if you're watching, if you're over in America and stuff, and you're trying to make sense of Australia, Australia's um, mountains, 
we got some mountains about the the same sort of age as the Appalachians in in the eastern United States. Um, so it's a similar yeah similar sort of age, and um, yeah so they're 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 very very eroded at this stage. They're not they're not like a they're not like the Rocky Mountains or or something like that. You know, it, it ain't they they are they are a fraction of what they used to be. But it's still pretty cold up there. Because it's winter here right now. Yeah, New England Tablelands is one of the coldest places in Australia. So. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Yeah, well, Stanthorpe is is still it's basic. It's the New England Tableland still, mm -hmm. but it's in Queensland. It's over the border. Luigi says, Hi, mate. Hey, Luigi, how you going? Good to have you with us. So your PC will be will be inbound. So hopefully, hopefully Monday or Tuesday. If you're super, super lucky, it'll be tomorrow. But that doesn't happen too often. It's more statistically likely you'll get it on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. So, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be putting our Be Quiet Lightwings fans on this. And in the case here as well. So, it's, it's going to be... We're, we're going to try to make this as quiet as possible, but, you know, despite it being a relatively high-end PC. So, yeah, it's a little bit, little bit of a conundrum, you know. You, you, want a, you want a powerful PC, but then you want it to be, like, super quiet, and it's like, oh, okay. Some, some decisions have to be made. So, Go on with the the, the the case here. It still wants the custom still wants it to look good. Russell still wants it to look good and all that. So we sort of hummed and hard about what configuration we'd want to use and and all that. So I was just like we just decided on on what we got. Swapping over the mounting hardware here. Still using the standard back plate that we got with our motherboard. I can tell you I still have still have the other computer open. Oh, I can tell you. So this was forty six fifty all up. All right. So one thing to one point to note with with these coolers here. The deep cool LS720 coolers and the um, the smaller the, two, the 240 millimeter version of this cooler as well. They all come with pre-applied thermal compound, so you don't have to you don't have to do anything with that if you don't want to. And like I say to people, it's usually not worth it to be any difference. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, he tried to tried to argue that it's because he's because of his cone of shame, but because he couldn't see. But it's just he's stupid. A liar. Just stupid. <laughs> How dare he? He only gets one tin of fluffy mouth food tonight. Yeah, only one tin of fluffy mouth food. His... Hey, Bradley. How you going? Good to have you here. And Chris, hey Chris, how you going? Good to have you here. It's been happening. What? Won't give her any Yeah, Catching. they always come with that. I hurt my foot trying to crush that with my foot. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't crush it with your foot. You you rip it apart. <laughs> you rip the sides off it, then you rip the, the bottom off it. Like I say, a good way to sense check yourself when you mount your cooler is if you get it all ready, apply a bit of pressure with your hand, and if it's making good contact, the surface tension will sort of hold the cooler on top of the CPU lid for a couple of seconds, at least long enough for you to screw down the first bolt without the cooler sort of popping off from the, you know, the force of these pipes sort of pulling it up. Yep. Yes, yes. No, no, no. He's kind of he's poor bastard's been stressed out from the from the dogs. And um Yeah, the cone of he's he's been compulsively licking and as a result he's had to get the cone of shame to stop him to save him from himself basically. Yeah. Let his hair grow back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so a couple of weeks with the with the cone of shame. He's he's okay. He's working it out. Slowly. Slowly, Slowly but surely. Sweet as. It's been a while since I've used um, light wings. I've got I've got some spare. I've actually got some spare light wings fans here. Someone was yeah. Someone was coming over for them, and then they they bailed at the last minute, and then they've been sitting there for like a month. Anyway, I don't think we need any. I don't think we need any more fans for this. Adding additional fans would just be adding additional noise. There's no, there's no real f f um, functional reason why we need any extra fans. Okay. So, let's turn our attention now to the case. So 
So this case would normally have, it would normally come with some extra fans. I've already removed the extra fans to save a bit of time. Just because last night couldn't do the live stream because of the, the cable and fluffy mouth. Um, so I had it all sort of sitting, all the parts kind of sitting here on my desk. And it was just sort of like annoying me that I couldn't do it. So I was like, I'm going to take out the three fans to save me a little bit of time tonight. <laughs> so <is> past Tim. <laughs> yes. Past Tim is looking out for future Tim. <laughs> Corey says, oh, poor bastard, but God love him, the cat. Says, yeah. Uh, he's, he's I drew all, on he's all his right. cone to make him feel better, but I don't, I don't know I, that I don't think it worked. <laughs> she drew a smiley face and a star and stuff like that, but I don't think he really um, responded too well to that. Okay, so... What have we got for... A drive tray in this case. We got like a okay, it just slides out, hey. Oh yep, yep, no worries. So far, so good. <laughs> so we'll, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that in the future. It's a nice anti anti vibration rubber grommets there for the hard drive to sit in. All part of Be Quiet's design of the of the case there for um, you know prioritizing silence. Mm. Yep. Okay. So, I had a great deal of trouble taking this off 
last night. Yeah, and it sounded like it broke it, but... I didn't break it, though. I know, I know. I'm not missing something. It's a normal freaking case. Fucking hell. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Yep, yep, 13600K, excellent way to go as well. Oh god. Dude, just buy buy a new case, buy a new PC. Imagine this graphics card, this big brick, imagine that, <laughs> wouldn't be enough power for it with that little power supply in there. It's like a 150 watt. Yeah, no, it's it it KFC's definitely gone way downhill in the last last thirty years. Unless you go to like a regional store. Yeah, well, all fast food is generally better in regional areas. Mm. Yeah, imagine trying to serve sh shit food to a farmer. <laughs> yeah. You call this chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Corey says it's a monster of a car. Trust me, I have to get a GPU stand to keep it balanced. Yeah, okay. Shouldn't I mean like like I'm always I'm always one that says you know you shouldn't you shouldn't have to do that if it's mounted correctly. Some of the ones that yeah, but the thing is you can you can support it with like pretty much anything you want, right? Sometimes people just buy like a little little figurine of their favorite character or whatever and they stick that under their graphics card. That's just as good and just as safe as any other solution there. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that. Let me get a little Sailor Moon put in mine. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. Fluffy meow. Meow. Oh, big stretch, mate. Right? Hey. Oh shit. Oh, 
Snorlax, man. What'd he do to you? What did Snorlax ever do to deserve that sort of treatment, mate? Fucking Snorlax does fuck all. <laughs> yeah. Like that's 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 who he is. If you're too old, if you're too old for Pokemon, Snorlax, the big freaking thing here, he spends all his day just eating and sleeping. It's the gluttony Pokemon. Dude. So he's obviously a fan favorite, right? Fluffy Mao. <laughs> Look at put me down. <laughs> Mate, you're very fluffy, but it's not going to get you very far. Okay, so we're at one of these cool power supply brackets here. We got at the top. Not a great deal. I'll um I'll go ahead and mount a couple of these fans in the case before I put the motherboard in. The cooler's gotta be front mounted. So we've got to, um, it's a little bit different with how we put the fans together when we've got a front mount one like this. So a little bit more, a little bit more sort of fuck around -y. If you don't think about what you're doing here with, with this, with this configuration of parts, you, you might have a bad time. You might end up doing a lot of things twice. Yeah, yeah. I think for first gen, it's got to be. I mean, it's the classic, so I mean, it's always going to be. It's always going to be popular. See, the reason why Pokemon was so popular is because we all loved fucking dinosaurs. We all grew up with Jurassic Park and shit like that from that from that era. And so we all wanted to like all wanted like dinosaurs to be real. And then they invent then they gave us Pokemon and it was like it was like a world where like dinosaurs were kind of real and we could train them and battle them. So as a kid it's just oh wow. It's so awesome. <laughs> It's, it's, he's the gluttony Pokemon. Okay. 
Okay. And so these three fans, we've got one on the back here, 120 millimeter. Two on the front, two on the top, sorry, two on the, the top, I should say. And then we'll have the three, obviously, on the front with our radiator. Have a good one, Corey. I'll see you next time. nearly done with this. Okay. Okay, so one thing I noticed with this, we do have a IO shield somewhere in here. Yes. Alright, so make sure you don't slice your hand open on the rear IO shield. Yeah. Oh, where's this? Oh. Thought it was a friend. Uh, 
Okay. So now we're ready to get our motherboard in the case and our radiator mounted with these three fans. So I've got the um, I've got the CPU power cable fed through. But other than that, it's all pretty straightforward. We've got all the right offsets in place. What's up? Okay.
like, I just want to go home. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Brad says hi. Hey Brad, how you going? Good to have you with us. So the trick sometimes when you're mounting a cooler is to actually mount your fans directly to the radiator through the front of your case like this. So that will save you a lot of a lot of heartache getting your um getting your cooler installed. I should have had a bag of freaking bolts for this. up. Looking at new RGB things. Yeah, I'm gonna save this slide. It's not for, um, for background. Mm. Yeah, cool.
Okay, let's get our three light wings fans in the front there. We can put our magnetic dust filter back over them. And chuck our front panel back on. Very good. So we can see what it's kind of shaping up to look like. And so I won't need to route anything behind the motherboard. So we can just go ahead and put all of our screws in place now. Okay, so now we've got all of this shit at the back here to deal with, so it's actually a relatively simple job from here. So first things first, we can look at our RGB. So there's a heap of RGB headers on this motherboard. And all of our RGB is daisy chainable, so we only need to have one cable going to the motherboard. And that can be just down the bottom here. And then from that, from that one, we can hook up all of our RGB. Just stay like that. Thank you.
Okay, so that's all of our RGB in a daisy chain. We've just got... Just got the one for our case. There we go. So we got all of that in one chain. There is a there is one here for our pump. Um, I think I can get away with this little connector here and save that controller for something else. Okay, so what have we got here? We got three fans. What did we get? What do we get with Okay, so we got an RG we got an RGB hub, but we don't get we don't get a fan hub. Okay, good fun, good fun. Yeah, no, it'll definitely go well. I think I've done, I've done a couple in this case. It's not completely new. I haven't done one for a while.
Mm-hmm. It's very fluffy. That's what he's famous for. It's got a 7800X 3D. <laughs> that's that's yes. pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Wi-Fi antenna, mm. yes, definitely. I think we've got, I think we're going to run into a problem here. So while, while we do have clearance in this case for this graphics card, with that, with that radiator mounted on the front, it's going to be like just too big to get this card in. So I don't think we're going to be able to use this radiator not in this position because it's just not going to fit it's just not going to fit the card that simple <laughs> that's another size issue i know i know but week. if if you look at it if you look at it this case has 369 millimeters of clearance this card is like 349 or something like that but Can when you maybe you... put the fans on the other side Let's have a look. You gotta rip it off again. I'm gonna rip this fucking thing off again. Bloody hell. Can the fans like go on Possibly. Because then you could still use the radiator. Yeah.
All right, let's try that. Let's try that. Yep. Ah, uh, no worries, man. All right, let's let's give this. Yeah, let's give this a go. I might, I might have a 240 radiator anyway. Can you come over here and assist? Oh, I guess. Just hold these three pans like that. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Bloody hell, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be tight, but... I think we're... I think we made it.
Okay. So that should fix our problem. And it sure does. Ugh, I've done something stupid. What did you do? I forgot to plug in the front panel audio. <laughs> and I'm going to struggle oh, with the no. graphics card. What? There's usually a way around it. Put it on turbo mode or whatever. Whatever it is. <laughs> 
sad. Okay, so we'll get our adapter ready to ready to roll. No, not in this one. It's not in this one. But that's okay. We can make it. We can still make it look good. Josh. Josh, you're so hard too. Hey, Josh. Hey, going? Good to have you with us. So now the customer. The customer came to me with most of the specs for this one. So. There we go. All right, so have a look at have a look at that. That looks nice and nice and neat. So I don't know. I don't know how well you can see it in there. Can you zoom in on it, babe? are just tied into a nice straight line 
doesn't look like doesn't look like there's sort of shit everywhere or anything. They're all coming from the one direction. Just above that be quiet logo there. So you got three eight pin cables into the triple eight pin to twelve plus four pin adapter. And so yeah, it's all about just just tying it down bit by bit so it's nice and neat and then it looks really good. No problems at all. And also once once you once the cables come down here it sort of hides it pretty well as well. Alright, so let's just hope that the, the front of the case is not too loud. Uh, like it not sorry, not not um not about it being loud, but let's hope it's not making any contact because mm. it's quite tight at the front there. So I'm just a little just bit cat. I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> Fluffy now. I'm a little bit concerned we'll have an obstruction in the front. Mm. Sit there. Okay, All right. Do you want to check that blue cable? Which one? The blue cable. Sorry, what's that? It's in service in the rear is not a story cable manage the chaos around the back. Um, it's not really I don't like to I don't like to go to town on the back there because it just makes more work if anything goes wrong and you have to upgrade it or do anything with it. Are those fans in the front moving? not the other two are The recipe for disaster. <laughs> well, mate, I'm insured. Okay, so don't you worry about don't you worry about the fluffy cat. That's that's for me to worry about. It's not a not a concern for for you. Oh, it'll be full of cat fur. Yeah. Sorry mate, well if you if you don't like if you don't like cats, you might not want to buy a PC from me because there'll probably be some cat fur, okay? Now that is that is just a fact of having the cat in, in this environment because he drops that much hair. So eh, it is what it is. Can you double check that connection, babe? Yeah, 
Alrighty. Um, BIOS? I thought you already had it. All right, so we'll get a new BIOS on here. Yeah. Ah, thanks, man. Yeah, it does look pretty good, actually. Did he press the power off button? Are you sure? Hmm. He's not touching anything. Okay, okay. Are you sure? Are you sure he didn't touch anything? I touched the lights. That was very weird. So there's an LED button on the front of that. That wouldn't have anything to do with it, would it? No. Oh. Mm, he didn't put his paw on the button.
Okay, yeah, that's all right. So it's normal for it to like shut itself down and turn itself back on to do a BIOS update, but it was really weird. It shut itself down. It didn't turn back on. That's why I thought the cat triggered something, but no. Who the, who, who the hell is that? Ugh. Man, I don't care. I don't care if you think that the cat shouldn't be on the PC or whatever. You think that because we had a problem, it's because the cat's sitting on the PC. That's, that's just stupid. Just, just ban him from the page. Fluffy Mao is employee of the month here, so see you later, mate. Yeah, it's not a democracy. If you don't like Fluffy Mao, you might want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you don't like Fluffy Mao, you might you might not want to hang out here.
Alrighty. What is sticking out? Shouldn't be anything sticking out. Yeah, no, they're pretty good. They're pretty good looking fans. They like the they like the NZXT ones with the ring. The addressable cables hooked up, so it should be able to just do everything. Yeah. I like that's like an on. It's like a big on switch coming down because obviously do we do we all know do we all know why the on logo is the way that it I is? I remember it's, it's zero it's and one. Yeah. The the line in the middle of the circle. The circle is a zero. The one is the line in the middle. That's the power symbol. So it's zero and one. On and off. Hey Eddie, how you going? Good to have you with us. All right. Well, we'll look, we've made it. We've made it work. One way or another, I was going to make it work. <laughs> so 
it's very annoying that despite being plugged into a USB 3 port our Windows USB isn't running at USB 3 speeds look how slow this is It's nice and quiet. That's a good thing, right? Quite like this case, and it comes in white too. Yeah, you can get a white. You can get a white one. But it's still not big enough for me. No. <laughs> I really want the fish tank. You don't. What? What's wrong with it? Don't you like it? It's not. It, it's not available. There's no Queensland distributor. So it's got to be ordered from Perth or Melbourne. Mm. It's called the Height 60. If you want to look it up. Well, maybe I should get a white tower. Yeah, you can get a tower.
He's very fluffy. Okay, let's get everything all set up here. So that's all sorted. Okay, so we'll get some other software on here, get it all set up. So all this software here is optional, but it's handy software, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And you won't need it until you need it. Okay, no, no, yes.
Rainy. No, oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. What's that? It's... Valkyrie one. Okay. Yep. Do you want to? Do you want to get that? Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, cool. It does look pretty cool. It's got USB C and three USB ports on the front of it. Sweet. Oh, USB 3.0 and USB 2.0 as well as Type C. No, oh, yep. The two are Um, oh yeah, we got Corsair Ram. But I think that's everything I need.
All right, we'll quickly set up our hard drive. And there it is. Yep. Unfortunately, Asus is a little bit slow with their, their driver update utility. It just seems to take ages. Ugh. Come on. We're ready, whenever you are. Bluetooth's installed.
Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's just the Armory Crate installer. It just seems to go really slow. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. And they just did a big update to Armory Crate as well and made it run a bit better than what it did. But... Yeah, it still takes freaking ages. All right, so Wi-Fi's there, Bluetooth is there, Nvidia drivers are there. Everything's everything's all ready f to restart as soon as this is done. Look, like it's still doing, it's still doing stuff. Asus driver client, eight percent of our CPU usage. It's still actually doing stuff. I, I don't know what it's doing, but it's actually doing something. This is what does my head in. Because I sit here and I look at it in Task Manager, I see the freaking utilization of the CPU. I'm like, it's doing something. I just don't know what it's doing. And whatever it's doing, it's doing it fucking slow. Ha ha ha. You just, you honestly got to wonder, a land driver, how is it that hard to install a land driver? Like, this is a powerful CPU, how, how, how is this, how does this even make sense? So this is installing our LAN driver. What's the bet that there's nothing wrong with our LAN? I got a LAN cable plugged in. I bet there's nothing wrong with our LAN. Nah, look at that. Nothing wrong with our LAN. Oh, mate, it really is. And I don't understand. I do not understand why. Like, look, look at this. While we're streaming. And this is the results we're getting over the LAN cable. I mean, what the hell is it even doing? I, I honestly... I honestly don't know. I, I, I'm honestly, if anyone's got, if anyone has any insight as to what it's actually freaking doing, I would love to hear it. I would love to know what it's actually fucking doing. Because, yeah. It's scratching its eyes. It doesn't seem like it really needs to be doing what it's doing. Like, what? I'm just as confused as you are watching it. Like, honestly. I'm meant to be the computer tech, I'm meant to know this sort of shit, but I honestly have no idea what the fuck it's doing. No.
Yeah, honestly, I have no idea what it's doing. I swear it's, like, using my PC to, like, do, like, some cloud computing. I, I swear, like, we're, we're contributing to, like, chat G GPT or something like that with this. Oh, it's dropped down. Does that mean it's, does that mean we're done? It just dropped down. I think we're done. Oh no, 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 no. Now it's doing the Wi Fi driver. <laughs> oh my God. The land driver wasn't the Wi Fi driver as well. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a serious, this is a legitimate joke, right? It'd be awesome if there was someone from Asus who could explain to me what the fuck is going on here because looks like we're all connected looks like everything's okay I've had enough of this Gen X or Baby Boomer um, come see me with their old computer, like an old laptop, and they're like, it's just so slow. And then I go, hey, no worries. Um, $100 upgrade, you won't know yourself. And they literally are just, they're, they're blown away by it because they don't realise um, how much their little hard drive on their laptop is, is slowing them down. And then they get their computer back and they think I'm an absolute... They think I'm an absolute legend because it's just so... It makes such a difference in their performance. They're like, wow, this was the best hundred dollars I ever spent. <laughs> Big dog, hey? What's George say? Maybe their servers. Yeah, like I, I have no idea. I have no idea what what is actually taking so long. Because I mean like scroll it back. I, I did I did a bit I did a stress test on it. Well not a stress test, I should say a um an internet speed test. So I mean it wasn't like Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. I guess. <laughs> who, who has a fucking working Game Boy Color these days? Mm. I've got I've got a working Game Boy Advance, and they play Game Boy Color games. 
you can still play yeah i've got i got game boy advance and um and i've got an original ds and doesn't the original ds play game boy advanced and original game boy games I don't know, because well, I've got an original DS as well. I got a Game Boy Advance, I got an original DS, and I've got a 3DS. And I've got a Switch. So I've got like all of the handhold handheld consoles from, from Nintendo. Hey, hey, Bradley. Um, not a great deal. Just waiting for freaking Asus to to do its thing. It took so long. It was it was doing something. Like I've done no idea what it was really doing. Okay, so that's all up to date. We'll be all ready for a Windows 11 upgrade if we want. I always just install 10 and ship it to the customer with, with 10 on it. Then they can decide whether they want Windows 11 or not. Just depending on what they're doing, 10 might work better for them, so... Oh, there's one thing. Heaven, heaven's not on here. <laughs> we missed one thing. Fortunately, it doesn't take long to install. He brews it? Ah, yes! <laughs> Alright, so we'll run heaven here. Hi, no anti-aliasing. So just for anyone who hasn't seen this before, up the top here we've got our graphics card, temperature, usage, clock speed and wattage. Then we've got our VRAM, usage and clock speed. We've got our CPU, temperature, usage, clock speed and wattage. And our RAM usage. And then this number here below RAM, this is how many frames per second it's currently running. What's that? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna be making videos on all this, all this crap that I set up in Windows, because I it it would do my head in to explain every app like every night that I do this. Um, but if you if you scroll back and watch me set up MSI Afterburner, because if you download MSI Afterburner and it will also install another app called Reva Tuna Statistics Server. Then you can go into your MSI Afterburner settings and we'll just pause since we came out because Battle.net is installed now. I'll I'll show you what I'm talking about. MSI Afterburner, so install that. Go over to settings. Go here to monitoring. And then you want to click on the value you want, and then you want to select show on screen display. Now click on everything you want to see on the screen. Go down here and select it for everything. Your CPU, it'll have each of the threads, and then the one that doesn't have a number is the is the total. So if you just want the total, just select the one that doesn't have a number next to it. Then you need to go to the next, click apply. And, and save everything in that you want. Then on the next tab, you got to go and you got to turn on the toggle keys. So select I, I do Control F10, Control F11, Control F12, but you can do whatever you want. And then you go down here to More, turn on Show Own Statistics. That's the frames per second. And then you've got the the size of the text there that you can adjust. And then once you've done all that it will show up like this when you when you go in and um, run benchmarks or your games or whatever then you can just hit if you set up the toggle keys and you can just hit control F10 and turn it on and off whenever you want so it's a handy feature to have but yes I'm gonna make a I'm making a um, I'm making a playlist of videos that it's gonna show all that I've been saying it for ages but yeah, I gotta gotta do it. So yeah, we always run the same benchmarks and the same settings with every PC. So if you go back and have a look at different configurations, you can compare the, the, the benchmarks running the same benchmarks on everything. makes it easier to compare things Yeah, give it give it a go. It's um it's pretty easy to set up, but yeah, like I said, you can set whatever statistics you want to see on the screen there and then yeah. Just follow the follow the setup process and um yeah, you'll end up with this. All right, so that was heaven there with a bit of an interruption in the middle there. That's that's all right. Next we'll do valley. So valley is more demanding. We also run it on higher settings. So ultra max anti-aliasing. And like I said, it's a more demanding benchmark and freaking MSI afterburner and Reva Tuna wanted to close on me. Good one. There we go.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've had them for ages. They're just not very well marketed. Alrighty, so that was Valley there on Ultra with Max Anti Aliasing. And then finally, we do our 4K benchmark. So super position, it's also DirectX 12, and yeah, 4K. The other two were 1080. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, it's all all running sweet. So, so yeah, you'll be able to pick this up tomorrow afternoon. Don't rock up at like eight o'clock in the morning or anything like that, because it's it's pretty late now. And yeah, <laughs> had had a guy. Had a customer come around to pick up his PC, and he was he, he he in his defense, he wasn't here super early. He was here at like ten o'clock, but like I I didn't get to bed that like the previous night to like one thirty, so I was like I was like still pretty much I, I was still asleep I think or just waking up at ten o'clock, and I didn't I didn't hear him at the door. Luckily, luckily he's, he's he was fairly local so I just dropped the PC off to him so no problems okay well like I said this is this is the end of the night now this is where we do the stress test 
just run a bit of power through it, make sure it's all running sweet. And so this is designed to generate a bit of heat, make sure everything's okay, and if it's all good, then yeah, Russ will be able to pick this up tomorrow. Oh, I might want to um, I might want to open up hardware monitors so I can log the log the temperatures. But yeah, we let this one run for just do a 90 minute run. Don't need to run it really any longer than that. Just to get everything up to up to temperature and all that. Make sure it's all running sweet. But yeah, I'm not I'm not foreseeing any problems. The fans are sounding good there under load with with the with it all generating a bit of heat there. Cause that's the real that's the real um that's the real determination as to how good of how good the PC is in terms of silence. It's what it's like when it's actually under load here and generating a bit of heat. And basically it's it seems to be purring so yeah happy days well this is the point of the night where i throw it over to anyone else who's got any other final questions or comments for me before i sign off now is your ch your time to speak that was a really cool idea with shots i don't i don't drink but like that is a cool idea Someone had like shot glasses and they had them in the freezer on an angle, half filled with water, so like on an angle, and then you fill up the shot glass with spirits and then half of it's ice and half of it's, yeah, definitely a, a good way to, to do shots, I reckon. Yeah, sounds good. No problems. Because, yeah, Russell's just down on, on the Gold Coast. So he's not far. He's going to come pick up. Alright, well, yeah, I think that's I think that'll be it for, for now. So, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you all in the next video.